the Rapsodo allows coaches to do, people that know how to read it, it allows you to develop who you like, helps you develop who you are. So, according to the pitch metrics, like, for, so for me, for example, so I spent like my four seam fastball is, I lied this year, about 2,600 RPM. I used to be four seam, two seam. My two seam is about 2,200, which is about average four seam fastball spin. So, because of that, my two seam is not getting the, the break that I needed it to. So if I have, once again, think in terms of tools, a fastball is a tool, a curveball is a tool. So if I have an elite tool on my four seam fastball, according to pitch metrics, I'm not going to throw an average pitch. All this does is help you utilize what you have in your toolbox better. You know, if a guy is throwing a curveball and a slider, but they're blending together, you can take the rap soda, you can say, hey, you know what? Maybe we just need to go to a slider rather than throwing both to maximize these tools that you have in your toolbox. That is 80% of pictures I see, by the way. I have a curve, a slider, a cutter, a changeup, a different changeup, and I'll throw up the ball sometimes. You usually have one good break the ball and maybe a third pitch. So this can tell us what they are, what they're doing, how they separate from each other, which level we'll kind of try to show you in a minute. Did you ever talk to throw down the zone? Like growing up yeah. stuff. 2600 RPMs is like top 5% of major leagues. Just FYI. That, you say that number like it's no big deal. That number is crazy. Which is why he has an elite success up in the zone on the hands with a fastball that may not be 99 anymore. Okay? So the high spin, late life fastball that he has by being high spin, high efficiency plays part. Plays with later life. So, just to tell your kid that you think spins the ball a little better, to throw up the corner and get the hell. But if you find out he does, he should work up a little Right? What Coach Russell was talking about, 95 with the belt, high RPM guys, that's his favorite 100%. And then working down the zone, he can be good to certain hitters, no doubt. Like, that's not saying it only works up. But him working up in the zone on certain swing profiles is going to work. Very, very much. Okay. At the, and I'll add to that too. Like at the end of the day, this game is about getting out as a pitcher. And if this helps me get one out. If I know that I've got out at the top of the zone, I can get one or two more outs up. Now I'm shortening a game. If I know I can go up on a guy and I can beat a guy up. That at the end of the day, like all this stuff is great. I understand the analytics is cool, it's cool to look at, but this game, especially for pitching as a pitcher, this game is about getting out. And you can light this thing up, you can light a radar gun up, and you go out on the mound, and you get blasted, and you come off and you say, Coach, but my numbers are good. It's about getting out. That's how you progress. At the end of the day, like, guys that don't get out are not going to play. Um, especially the pitcher. So, if, if these things can help you get one out, that's the way that I look at it. Like, my mindset, I, I'm at an 18 out minimum as a starting pitcher. My baseline is 18 out every time out. If I can get one or two outs on a fastball up, now I'm down to 14 out. Anything above 18 out, so that's, at the end of the day, that's what this is about, it's about getting out, using these tools to get out, um, pitch deep in the game, and give your team a chance to win.